Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Karyungi. Today we continue with our biology lesson in Form 1. And uh, we are going to discuss magnification. Uh, when we are using a microscope or when we are using a hand lens, uh, we need to state the magnification. And the first thing that I would want us to ask ourselves, what is magnification? Uh, magnification is a ratio. Uh, is a ratio of the object's image to its real size. The ratio of the object's image to the actual size of that particular object. So we can say that uh, this is a ratio of the object's object's image to its actual size. And that's why we calculate magnification is equals to, if we are using the length, we can say image length over the actual length of the object. So that is the general magnification. Uh, but uh, for now, I want us to look at uh, magnification when we are using a light microscope, because basically that's what we are discussing today. Now, the, uh, the light microscope has two lenses. There is the eyepiece and there is the objective lens. And those two lenses have a particular magnification. So to get the total magnification, uh, you multiply the eyepiece magnification with the objective lens magnification. So we'll say that when using a light microscope, when using a light microscope, the total magnification is calculated as follows. So we'll say total magnification is equals to eyepiece magnification times objective lens magnification. And the reason we use this formula is because when we are using a light microscope, we use the eyepiece and the objective lens. Those are the two lenses that we use. So for instance, uh, if an example, if the eyepiece magnification is times 10 and objective lens magnification is times 25 then total magnification total 
magnification is times 10 times 25 which is equals to times 250 so this shows that the object is magnified 250 times so always when you are stating the magnification, we have to state times, times 250. And this times 250 is arrived at by multiplying times 10, which is the eyepiece magnification, with times 25, which is the objective lens magnification. And that is what we have done here. And in total, we get times 250. We don't just write it as 250. We write it as times 250 because that value has no units. It's the number of times an object has been enlarged or magnified. So that is about magnification. Now, what we started with was the general magnification without uh, restricting ourselves to the light microscope. But when you're using the light microscope, this is the formula that we are supposed to, to use. Uh, now, uh, the other thing I want us to discuss is uh, observation of cells, observing plant and animal cells using a light microscope, using a light microscope. And basically, we'll have two diagrams, one showing the plant cell as observed under a light microscope and an animal cell as observed under a light microscope. So we'll start with the plant cell. So that is a plant cell as observed under a light microscope. You'll be able to see the cell wall, the cell membrane. There is the sap vacuole. This is the nucleus. Uh, the membrane of the sap vacuole is known as the tonoplast. That is the membrane of the sap vacuole. The sap vacuole is the space inside, but its membrane is the tonoplast. You'll also observe chloroplast. There are several. There. So this is a plant cell as observed under a light microscope. So those are the details that you see. Um, when it comes to the animal cell, the animal cell, we observe the nucleus that is central. So here we only have the cell membrane that is visible, the cytoplasm, and we have the nucleus. 
So those are the main parts that you see. Uh, but uh, basically, you can also see some uh, organelles inside there without being able to specify which organelle is that. So you cannot be able to specify those organelles that are in the cytoplasm. They are of what type. So this is uh, an animal cell as observed under a light microscope. So when you look at uh, uh, the electron microscope, we'll find that uh, we'll be able to see more, more structures. But when you're using the light microscope, we just view a few uh, structures within the cell because the light microscope has a smaller magnification compared to the, uh, the electron microscope that we'll see later. Uh, so basically we have learned about how to calculate magnification uh, by multiplying the eyepiece magnification with the objective lens magnification to get the total magnification. And the total magnification must be uh, written times the number of uh, times a certain object is magnified. Uh, then we have uh, had two diagrams. Uh, showing a plant cell as observed under a light microscope shows the cell wall, cell membrane, the sap vacuole, uh, the nucleus, the tonoplast, the chloroplasts, and also the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is there. The cytoplasm is where we have the chloroplasts distributed. So we have just picked one chloroplast. For the animal cell, we'll observe the cell membrane. This one doesn't have a cell wall. Uh, it doesn't have a vacuole. The nucleus is the one that occupies a central position. There is the cytoplasm and we have cell organelles observed there. So our today's assignment So the first question, draw a well-labeled diagram of a plant cell as observed under a light microscope. Number two, complete the table below. <coughs> the eyepiece magnification is the first column. You fill the, the spaces. Objective lens magnification, you fill that. And the total magnification accordingly. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. Thank you.